here you can really kind of see the difference between how we're billing and how you know a traditional virtual machine billing would work. So basically with a virtual machine, really you're setting the size of that virtual machine. And essentially when you're looking at it in a micro way over the course of an hour or a day, um, the load might vary quite significantly, but that virtual machine, you're not realistically resizing it all the time. Um, now you can bring in additional VMs, remove them in a cluster, but ultimately there is loss within that virtual machine because um, you can't resize it in a dynamic way. Uh, not really anyway. Um, on the platform as a service, it's very different because you have these very small scaling units and the way it's built is actually based on your usage within that. So you're not built based on the size that you determine. As you saw, you're built actually on the usage over time in real time. So you can see here, it follows your load curve. So all of that area between between the uh, the green line and that kind of dot, 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 uh, uh, dotted line at the top, that would be sort of wasted that you would have had to pay for in the IS environment. But in the past, you, you, you're able to save that through scaling. So there are some really good potential benefits to, to save money uh, looking at the pass, as well as increasing the service performance. Um, so in reality, customers are going to mix and match IaaS with PaaS based on the use case. But one of the benefits of, uh, of PaaS is this really granular billing. Um, and actually, um, the uh, this is a bit more detail on how it works. But basically, the, the, these small uh, units are very granular and and dynamic. So um, it's going to come within you know very very small uh, resource consumption of your actual usage over time. So. That was an uh, overview of the billing. Um, I hope to see you on the platform soon. Um, we're certainly seeing more and more users starting to integrate Pass into their usage of cloud um, because for the reasons that uh, we talked about, it's, it's bringing um, a lot higher level of automation to customers' environments. 